right y'all so welcome back to my channel and if you want to see how i got this look right here stay tuned and keep on watching and let's get right into it so for today's look i'm going to use the color rain juicy boost palette and i'm going to go in with that lighter shade right here just look just to highlight my brow bone i like this color just because it's not a stark white color but it still gives me that nice highlighted look I am going in for. So now I'm going to go in with cucumber avocado, I believe. And I am going to just go right into my transition area and use that. Now I'm going to deepen it up with this minty color. And this is going to give me like more of that green pop that I'm looking for on my eye. So yeah, I'm just going to do circular motions back and forth, layering it on. I like to layer the color instead of using a lot at a time I just feel like I get a better color payoff like that now I'm going to use the kill shade and I'm going to smoke out my outer corner so this is just going to give me that really nice smoky eye that y'all know I love I love a smoky eye like always but instead of using like a black or a brown or a gray it is a dark gray so now we're going to go in with the shade Blueberry Burst and we're going to take our flat brush and we are just going to pack this on our lid. This is kind of be like the star of the show. So we're going to pack her on our lid and just keep layering her on there. And honestly, I will say about these shadows, I hardly got any fallout and the pigment is so good. So if you don't own any colored ring products, I would definitely suggest you get them. This is probably like my third palette by them, but their products are super good. And I just went ahead and put on some liner and some lashes. And now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Neon Green Liner in my waterline. I figured that would be a nice pop instead of using the traditional black or brown like I typically would always use. So now we're going to do some Pat McGrath on our bottom lash line. And get a nice pop. I'm going to go in with the shade Energy Boost underneath and we're just going to smoke out our bottom lash line. Just give it a nice little array of color. I did do a poll on Instagram if people wanted to see more of a neutral look or a colorful look. And of course, everybody always picks color, so color it is. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the hair, child. And we are looking a little wild. So basically what I'm doing now is just parting my hair. Um, parting my hair... Um, yeah, I can see me like struggling with the frontal. Pretty much, I've colored this hair so much. It was supposed to be blonde, but then I'm in the mistake and it turned green. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Red always cancels out green, so I am a redhead now. So like so, I'm just taking my time, parting the hair until I get my desired um, part that I want. And now I'm going to go in and just brush her out so I don't have any tangles and stuff and she is easy to work with. So now I took my Carrot Care Wax Stick. I swear by this wax stick. If you do not own one and you wear units and wigs, ladies, or if you get sew-ins, whatever, you need a wax stick. And now I'm going to go in with my infamous hot comb and we are just going to lay the hair down. A hot comb is such a necessity when having a wig or something like this because it's going to really give you the ability to just lay it down and not make it look so bulky. And of course when I want to film, the ambulance and stuff wants to come by. <laughs> Whatever. Like I said, we're going to just keep hot combing her down until we get our desired look. And now I'm just going to go in with a little bit more with the wax stick on the opposite end. And I'm going to go and hot comb that side as well. my wand curly and I basically am going to wand curl all of the hair until I get it my desired look that I'm going for. Um, this process is pretty much very tedious but you're going to take a section of hair, you're going to wrap it around the curler, hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds and then you are going to let go. If you want a stronger hold I would definitely suggest using some 
um, holding spray. I typically don't use it in mine because I don't like my hair to feel crunchy and I also don't like to put too much product in my hair. So I usually don't use it. But if you do want your curls to kind of like stay all day long or like stay for at least maybe three days, I would suggest you use a holding spray. So yeah, I'm just going to pretty much repeat these same steps and see what look I get in the end. to the hair now we are gonna go on to making our baby hairs and what I'm doing right now is just taking out a small amount of hair I'm gonna cut in a downwards motion with my scissor you could also use like um like razor shears I couldn't find mine so I just used my scissor I believe I put a little bit of gel on on and I'm just going to lay out how I want my baby hairs to look I'm cutting a little bit more. I definitely don't want the hairs to be like super duper long. So I'm cutting it so it's not so long. And I'm just going to lay it down now and get the placement that I want. Now this process, I will say honestly, can take a little bit of time. So just be patient with it. I used to like to use mousse, but sometimes the mousse doesn't like go how I want it. So for this day in particular, the gel was working just fine for me. So. I opted to go on with y'all, but you guys can definitely use like whatever you want. There is no preference. Like go, yeah. G wagon or the rover. I put some ice on you.